Is, is that team good enough to win the Euros? Do you know, I, I think England can put a team out that could beat anybody. Right. I, I don't think that's, the, that's really the question. The question is, can England's players and coaching staff handle the expectation? Because they went to the World Cup and nobody gave them a chance of doing anything. And all of a sudden, they're in the semis and it's, my goodness, they've actually got a chance of winning this thing. Now it's completely gone the other way and historically England and the players and the coaches collapse when there's any sort of expectation on them. So I don't think it's a case of can England put a team out that's capable of beating everybody. It's what's going to happen upstairs? Can they take the pressure? I'm not so sure they can. Is there a difference to this generation, Don? Do you think they can handle that pressure? I think they can. I think they can. I think they're good enough. Um, they're a good side. Um, what I would say, just to counteract that, and I don't know if it means anything, you know, it's always fun when you're writing down a, a possible England eleven. but when you look at Portugal's, you know, they're putting three players for every position, the same as France. I mean, France's squad and the pool of players they're picking from is ridiculous. Some of them can't even make the squad. But when you look at what Gareth Southgate's got to work with, I mean, some of the brightest young talent at the top end of the pitch, I've seen England you know, play for a long time or potentially play for a long time. I mean, unbelievable talent. So if he goes for it and he's, you know, he sacrifices maybe that clean sheets are not going to be his bag and maybe he gives one goal away, at the top end of the pitch is some serious goals in them. Nathan? Yeah, I was going to say I agree with you, Don. I think this tournament itself, for me, I see it more as a test for Southgate because I think he does have the talent, but can he manage to get the best out of them? And I think at the World Cup... Mm. Some people would probably say when they need it the most, they were probably a little bit too negative. And I don't think Southgate necessarily made the changes that he needed to to try and change the game in a positive manner when they got to the semi-final. And the hope is for them that those experiences will help them in this, in this period now. And like I say, the team and the talent is there. We can talk about Portugal's having two, three players in every position. And that's great, but there are probably a few teams like that. And in this instance, I think England fall into that category. So, as I say, it could come down to coaching and understanding. And the players, you know, they are under pressure. Can they handle that pressure? Well, at this moment for England, there are lots of players who, for their club sides at least, play under pressure every single week, who are making it into quarterfinals, semifinals of Champions League. And now there's a group of players who also made it to the semifinal of the World Cup. So maybe, just maybe, if things fall their way and the coaching decisions are correct. Like, I think, as I say, the po more positive outlook in terms of how they want to play if they do that because of the abundance of attacking talent they have, I think that you have to, they have to be part of the conversation, in my opinion. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.